Hey guys, Squishup here. Welcome to a first look video of the new champion that Riot's just released a teaser for. They've re they released these a little while back, but now they've released the champion preview, the ability previews. So in this video, we're going to take like a first look at it. I'm going to give you my opinions on the champion overall, but specifically, what I want to do is give you my opinion on how she's going to work as a jungler. This is Camille or Camille or Camille, whatever you want to pronounce. I don't quite know how Riot's going to pronounce her yet, but depending where you're from, you might pronounce her in different ways. Uh, she looks to be like kind of like a duelist semi-assassin champion she looks kind of cool that's for sure but how specifically is she going to work as a jungler i did this a video like this back for yorick when his abilities were came out like as a preview uh, and i got that pretty spot on i said he was probably not going to be a jungler but he could certainly work as one if he wanted to be like a fit like as a, as a bruiser role and i think that's fairly accurate as now he's been out for a while we can see that but uh this champion i think is a bit different to yorick so we're going to take a look here we're going to i'm going to show you the abilities if you haven't seen what she does yet you're going to learn what she does and i'll give you my opinion on the uh, on her overall a little you know afterwards so first things first let's take a look at her abilities her passive here we'll, we'll look at all the videos here that that's loud that that riot's done her passive whoever you hit you get a shield based off the damage that that person does. So she just hit Jinx, she got an AD shield. If she hits Victor, she gets a magic shield. So basically, it's like a tuned shield for whoever you're attacking so that you have the defenses against that specific person. Your Q, you swipe at them with your leg once, and then if you wait a little while longer, you get another swipe and you can swipe and do more damage. I think you do actually get two swipes, but if you wait longer, your second swipe does more damage. And your W here, Tactical sweep, you sweep your leg forward and you saw like two little circles there, two little rings. I'll rewind that here and pause. You saw that, you see these two little rings. If you hit someone in this outer ring, you slow them quite heavily and also heal yourself. I'm pretty sure the heal is only for the outer ring, yes. Well, I'm not, yeah, I think it is. But you heal yourself if you hit someone in the outer ring, but you definitely slow them if they're in their outer ring as opposed to the inner ring as well. Your E, your last standard ability here, is you can fire out a hook which latches you onto a wall and then after you've hit the wall you can refire the ability again to bounce off of it and if you aim it towards a champion you get an extra move like an extra you can move further you can jump further and it looks like this guy's stunned actually it doesn't it doesn't say i just say you're yeah, stunning all enemies in the area and then you get bonus attack speed i think you, you stun whoever you like wherever you land but if you're yeah you know if you're at Land at champion, obviously stun champion. So just, just quickly, like you can see, you can see this little, little, little notch here. I think this is like the, uh, there's like two arrows that show up. Okay, whatever. There's two arrows that show up. I could see that. There it is. Two arrows. I think if you're not aimed at a champion, you can only dash this far out. But if you aimed at a champion, you can dash this far out. So you can dash further out, and then you, you land on them. You stun them. Really good initiation tool, basically. And then lastly, the ultimate ability here, Hextech Ultimatum. You slam down a bit like a Java Null onto a champion. It knocks all of the allies out of this as well. So unlike Java where it traps everyone in, this pushes everyone away apart from your the target. The target cannot leave that little hex that little hexagon here. And you do bonus damage to the target or to everyone really when, when you're staying inside this area. Now, Jinx can't leave this, but Victor could move into it if he wanted to. I'm not sure how it works as to like a flash or something. I'm pretty, I'm, I would assume she could flash out of that, but I don't know. I know she can't walk out of it and I'm guessing she can't also, like maybe, I don't think she can gap close out of it. I honestly don't know, but. It, say, oh, it says here the target can't leave by any means. So I'm assuming that's everything. Which is pretty extreme, honestly. Like, not even a Thresh Lantern, not even Flash, nothing. They just can't leave. So that seems, like, pretty interesting, really. So now th that's the rundown of the abilities. What do I think... How do I think this Camille is going to stack up as far as it goes for how useful she'll be as a jungler? So... Uh, firstly, her passive is pretty much useless from, from a jungler's perspective. I mean, it's good when you're 1v1-ing people, but you're rarely going to be doing that as a jungler. I mean, it's okay. It's not entirely useless if you're, like, running into the enemy jungle, maybe. But I don't really see Camille as someone who will be fighting the enemy jungle a lot, because I don't really think she's got, the like, the healthy enough clear speeds, as I'll get onto later, to facilitate her to be able to bully the enemy jungler, because she'd be, she'll have enough problems of her own in her own jungle to really then, uh, like, pressure the enemy jungler afterwards so not particularly useful but not like you know an awful passive but it's not really going to help her that much i don't think but moving on to our queue here uh the precision protocol which is like the swipe here the swipe and then if you wait a little while longer you get the extra damage swipe ba boom there it is 
Uh, I think this is actually pretty good. It depends on the cooldown, but I'm anticipating that the cooldown will be quite low for this ability. It's like her main ability, her main kind of damage ability. But I think this would be pretty good, honestly. The jungle monsters aren't going to go anywhere. So, you know, this ability is kind of uh, balanced around the fact that you're going to have to wait a little while longer before using your second Q. And in a PvP situation, you might not have the liberty of being able to wait long enough because they might just run away from you or whatever. Jungle monsters won't be running away from you. So you can get the most out of this ability. So I imagine that's this is honestly a pretty good ability for, for clearing the jungle. Kind of depends on the cooldown, but I imagine that would be quite low. This would be even better if there's an auto attack reset attached to it as well. I'm not sure if there is, but I can imagine this would actually be that kind of ability where you can... It's not technically an auto attack, but, you know, something similar like that. But I, I think this is actually pretty good for clearing the jungle. And just in general, I think this is a really good, a really good uh, ability to have for a jungler. Moving on to her W here, the tactical sweep. This ability here. Now, I actually think this is okay. Totally depends on the cooldown. But I would imagine this is an ability with quite a high cooldown. And the damage as well, I imagine, is not going to be that high. Considering it does a pretty significant slow as well. If you're on the outer ring. I imagine maybe it scales with AD quite well. But the base damage is probably going to be quite low. And the cooldown will probably be quite high too. So not really going to be too useful as far as what it offers you for clearing the jungle. So I don't really think this would be immensely useful. But I don't think it will be terrible either. And taking a look at the mana cost here, this doesn't really cost any mana. <laughs> like, you can see she's used it, and she's used, like, what, 5% of her mana? So you can probably spam this in the ability uh, in the jungle as well to clear, so that shouldn't be a problem. It's not like you're not going to be, going to be able to use this because of mana issues. So just as, like, a comparison for how useful I think this ability will be, I think this is kind of similar to a Kha'Zix W, but not as good. Like, similar-ish AoE ability, but not massive amounts of damage in that AoE. High cooldown with a little bit of healing as well. So I think it's okay, but really nothing special. Moving on to her E now, the hook shot, or hook shot slash wall dive. Now I think this is actually going to be pretty good, especially a good ganking tool. Like you can easily just like walk, imagine like you can walk into a lane and then, you know, if you see the person out of position or something like that, then you can just like hook onto a wall as you walk into the lane and then bounce off of it to like into their escape path or something like that. I can perfectly see how that would happen. Or if you're lane ganking, you aim it slightly at the wall and then jump forward a little bit. I can see it like it seems a bit situational because you can only do it if you're like near a wall. So it might not be very good for like ganking mid. But even then, if you come out of a bush and just aim it at the wall still, so you hook out of the bush. So like you initiate the gank with your E and then follow up afterwards like i can still imagine it working it will be a bit harder to do in mid lane but it can still work i think this is pretty good it's a bit situational but i still think it's pretty good now your ultimate here hello shadwell your ultimate here i think is just really good sorry shad Ugh. let me get shad in on this as well shad wants to join in the fun so i think your ultimate here is actually a really good ability Honestly, for ganking, like, or just in general, I mean, this has everything you need. Like, it's, the enemy can't leave, so it's perfect as far as, like, a CC standpoint goes. So you're going to be able to get really solid, spicy ganks off with this. Uh, on top of that as well, it's like a, it's like a dueling ultimate, where the enemy, you do more damage when you're inside this. So it means that your 1v1s will be better. Your damage overall will be better. Uh, I, I think that, you know, it just makes you, it's basically just like a massive steroid for you too. So you'll be a pretty big threat when this is down. And like I say, they can't leave. So as far as ganking goes, this would be really, really good. So I think this ability is really good for for, for like for ganking and stuff. Like from a jungle perspective, this is an amazing ability. Depends on the cooldown. But I can easily imagine this just being like, whenever it's up, it's a free kill, basically. It's similar to like a Vial or something like that, which has, well, like an Amumu ult, really. This is, this is honestly similar to an Amumu ult, except obviously... Uh, less focused around like killing multiple people and less like a wombo combo ulti but more just like focusing one person down so I'm mixed between a violin and a moomo in that sense where you trap someone but it's only like one person you know or maybe just like a violin by herself so that's pretty much what her abilities do and what my thoughts are on the abilities overall but I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here to show you uh, the uh, you know, Riot's written some things. You can read this stuff as well. I'll obviously link this down in the in the description. They don't say that she should be a jungler, so that's probably like a bit of a clue there as well. They say she's a better solo laner, but that's pretty obvious. But we'll, we'll I'll, I'll show you some of these clips here as well to show you like how she works as well as a champion here. So you can see here, this is the use of her like hook shot there. So this is kind of like something you could do when you're ganking. Like you could come up through like the river here, and instead of being in this position where she is, you could be in like this river position, and then just like hook like that, and then go forward like that. So she hooks in, she's got the shield up so her trades are really efficient here and then she just uses her Q and her E, like pretty simple stuff. 
And this is actually a really cool clip. I want to show this one because I whoops, this is already played out. Uh, this is a really awesome team fight. Like she just looks, she looks crazy in this clip here. Like look at this, holy moly! Oh, hello, Shad. You want to get, you want to get a better look, Shad? Look at this. Look at her, Shad. Look at her. She's crazy. She's crazy, Shad. Well, she's popping off, dog. She's popping off. She just looks like really skirmishy, you know, always jumping in, always jumping out. There you go, Shad. And like hopping over walls as well, she does that a lot. I don't even know what like I honestly I could even play this in like you know zero percent like five percent speed, and I wouldn't even really be able to describe what's going on. But she definitely looks like this kind of like jumping in, jumping out, skirmishy champion. She looks pretty strong, honestly. But I think as far as jungler goes, like my overall grade, I would give her. I'd probably give her like a C plus. I don't really imagine she'd have that. She'd be that good as a jungler. I think she honestly would struggle to clear a little bit. Her Q would be decent, but outside of that, I don't know, really, and it, like, it all comes down to the numbers as well. Like, if this Q has a really low cooldown or something like that, or like her, her W has a really low cooldown as well, maybe she'd be better, but she's not really going to be, in my opinion, anything too special. So I, in my, in my preliminary report, I would say that she's probably going to be some, something similar to like how the old Talon was, uh, Kled and Fiora. Not great junglers, but they certainly can jungle and pretty underrated junglers because people just don't think they can even jungle at all when they can. They're actually not that bad at jungling, but they're, you know, not played as junglers for a reason. So that's kind of my, my thoughts on the champion and how she, she works uh, in the old jingle jangle. Definitely an assassin type champion, so I don't really imagine you'd be building like tankiness on her. She wouldn't really get used out of the Courage of the Colossus. Maybe she would actually because Courage of the Colossus is pretty broken and she does stun people after her E, so maybe, but... I don't think it really fits her archetype. You'd probably want to go further more on her, but who knows. Either way, thanks for watching this video, boys and girls. I hope you liked it. If you did, of course, hit me that cheeky thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more League of Legends content. And you can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash foxdrop. All those links are down below in our description, boys and girls. Most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you in my next video.